It's yeah, awesome. That's what I can Congratulations. Appreciate that. See you later. Yes, sir. After kind of all the talk about their running game and them being kind of a power football team, is it pretty satisfying to be able to shut them down on the ground the way you guys did? Just like, just like I told my man over there, I didn't, I don't know anything about the running game. I haven't heard anything about it. You know, I haven't heard anything. Talk about that a little bit. Is it easier to go against an opponent you don't know or an opponent in your conference? I mean, to be honest, our conference is a lot tougher. You know, I think physicality-wise, you know, because I, I, I seen the difference. I felt the difference, you know. First play, I didn't know what to expect, you know, and they came off the ball, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, this is just same. football. Yeah, yeah, football, you know. And what about the team speed? Did you think you guys had a team speed advantage over those guys? I, I think so, you know. I think so. Defensive-wise, I think so, especially, you know. Well, to, to be clear, you said you didn't know anything about Michigan's rushing offense. Did you not know anything, or were you just not impressed about that? No, I didn't know anything. I mean, I didn't really hear anything about the rushing game. When, when you guys are down as much as you were, how much faith is there that the, that the offense will eventually, you know, kind of pull together and if you guys keep getting stops, we'll be able to kind of bail you out? <laughs> you know, some got to give, you know, that's what I always tell myself. Can't hang your head, you know, got to keep trusting in them because they trust in us, you know what I'm saying? Every time we went out there, you know, we did what we had to do, you know. Some things slipped by, but it's all right, you know. I think we played phenomenal on what defense. The, what happened uh, Well, I ran my stunt. I saw the tight end. He looked me in my eyes. I think he might have got a little scared. He gave it right to me. I was going to make the play regardless, but I think if I would have hit him, I probably, he probably would have still fumbled anyway because I was free. And I and if I would have knew that that was going to happen, I was going to the crib with that. I was going home with that. It's been an extra better field position to try to scoop and score it? Man, listen, if I if I knew that was going to happen, we practiced, we, we practiced that every day. Scoop and score, you know? We practice that every day at practice. So. When did you feel the turning point in that game was? Was there a, a point where you could feel the momentum clearly shift in the I felt it actually when, when they was in the score, but when I stripped that ball, I, I just looked around, you know. Everything was roaring. Our fans was roaring. You know, offense was ready to go. So that's when I knew that, that it was the turn. It was in the turn, the momentum that's turning. Did you talk to DJ Smith after the game at all? Or, yeah, or was, what was he? He like? was emotional, but he was very happy. You know, he told me I had a good game. You know, and I'm uh, I'm sad. I'm sad that he didn't he didn't get to play a lot. But but what's he meant to you guys as a as a defense? Just being a, a four year contributor, veteran veteran voice. You know, he's a, he's a headhunter back there. If you ask me, you know, he uh. He he um he, he he battled through some injuries and stuff, you know. But yeah, he's a headhunter back there. He mean a lot to this team. We, and will you go get a free blooming onion tomorrow? <laughs> I might I might have to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just for the heck of it.